Tom Florin here. This is where the trapper and landowner cooperation really comes into play. The trapper really needs to help out the landowners, and we do. And this is one case here where you can see where the landowner was so frustrated, he went and put in pipe uh, in the dam, actually put it down in the dam. The beavers slowly have worked it out. They've piled so much brush on the back of the, the pipe that it actually busted the cable or wire and then kept piling on it until the end of the uh, pipe was out of the water. Um, it's doing absolutely no good and when it did was working a little bit all they did was build a dam farther down about 40 feet from here 30 feet from here that's a little bigger than this one and it's obsolete now anyway. So we're going to get rid of these beavers now. This is a deep water H stand. Okay. Uh, I'll try and show it to you later on in a close up when I show equipment. They're not handy to carry through the woods. But I'll tell you what, they do work really slick in, in a deep hole situation. All right, I've already found the hole. I'm gonna take and put this slide. I'm gonna slide this, these two bars right down my leg till I hit my foot. We'll have to bend these arms up. Right in the middle of the channel, put my foot in the middle of the channel, push this down. It's down to my, hits my foot, and I push it a little bit more. I got it wired off. And we've started taking care of the problem. All right. In a few more days, we should have this under control. The landowner went to all the expense, the time, the effort, and we'll take them out of here, and the problem will be solved. We're at another beaver dam here, and this one I decided to show particularly because this is a rare instance. I don't run across a lot of these. If you still, if you came from below and you looked at this beaver dam, you wouldn't see a crossover at all. You got to get up here and really look at it. They're actually going down through the dam they're making. So I'll take you around. First I'll show you from the top view, then I'll tell you from the back view. This is a look from above. And you can see that little bit of a hole there. That's where they're crossing through. They're actually crossing right down through the dam. Let's go down below. We're down on the bottom part of this dam. I'm gonna try and talk a little louder because of the water coming over. I'm gonna get my uh, walking stick off to the side. Now you can see it's really a jungle, but I'm gonna make this so I can get in here and set it and then cover it back up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this back, kind of like a banana. I'm going to get in here. I'm going to work on this branches to just try and pull them out of the way enough. To get in here and work. Now, got my Connie Bear.
turn the triggers down. Now, as you can see, I got this string and I've got a safety on this. You're working in a bunch of sticks like this, anywhere actually, it's going to go off. Trust me. I'd be surprised if it don't go off my first attempt. Now this takes a little time. I'll get out of the way soon and show you what I'm doing. If I can get it in here, put it out of going off. Okay. See how I got that? Kind of see it. How we got that Connie Bear in there? All right. I hope so. I got to keep moving here. We got it up and down and in the channel. Okay. I'm going to use a stick. That one didn't work. They provide me a lot of them. Got it wedged right in there. Can't go anywhere. All right. Now I can take off my safety. And if I forget to take it off, the string will remind me. Trust me, you'll do it. I have. So we got that off. Put it back in the pocket. Bring up some of these sticks again. Back up where they were. Bring this back down over. Make sure your cable is off to the side. I like to put it underneath the branches if I can. I've already put these into the ground. I'll show you this in a second. Make some little final attempts, adjustments. There it is. That quick, that easy. That is a dead sure place to cross them. They ain't gonna do it nowhere else. Also a good otter set. Now I'm gonna show you how to make a set next to a dam if you're in a state that you can't set these dams, okay? We'll go up the stream here just a little bit before the next one, and I'll show you that. I wanted to give you a better view of the trap underneath the dam. There it is. Okay, let's go make another set. There's the dam from below that we just set. What I'm trying to do here is to show you why we're doing what we're doing. Now if you come up the channel and you come over on the side, you can stop here, you can see that there's a takeout right there. That's where the beavers are crawling up and chewing off branches. Now if we keep going, we've got another takeout right here. Now this one is going to work great for the guys that got to keep their traps underwater. We'll show you how to set that up. 
we keep coming around we've got a channel going off to the left goes up to another dam and then finally we got another main dam right here and we'll set that up in a little bit but let's get these other set first now here we are at one of those beaver takeouts I guess I call them they go up and they get sticks and they chew and I was going to show you that some of my paint has worn off of the uh, class mud is a great and then I put it on anything shiny I just rub it right on the cable I'm going to put it up here connect it I've already got that on I meant to put mud up there there we go now to make these faster <laughs> I've already preset this one okay my safety I put that down in there and it's just under the water but what I'm going to make sure that if the water drops I'm not in violation so I can take my hands and just dig out a little bit more and there I am okay push the springs in on the side firm it actually gave me this is just the right now these logs just didn't mysterious appear in the right spot I had them sitting here and we'll take this one and we'll put that in here just like this about like this put it in like that all right I found a chewing stick right here it works for a great stick to hold the trap from make sure my safeties are off I got them in there let's take a few more branches and just kind of deck this up a little bit if you want doesn't make much difference but it gives a little more IPL here all right what I'm going to do too is you don't have to but I like to shine things up a little bit make it look like it's been worked in here okay they can see that from outside when they're swimming even on the outside I'll shine this up okay got it off got this got the safeties off I can take my Tying bear safety off, put it back in my pocket. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this. This is Harper's Heritage, okay? It's called Beaver Buster. I started testing this for them all going on three years now. And I let you know I like a curiosity lure. Well, this is kind of the best of both worlds. It has a really zow curiosity. It grabs your attention like right now. And then it has a secondary, nice, mild, little caster smell to it. Okay? So you're kind of covering both bases here with a real mild caster. It has a gel in it. It will not freeze. It will not dry out. I know it sounds like an ad, but I'm really hyped up on this stuff. Okay? The stuff, the scent, slowly evaporate out of this gel. It, I, we've had it in chest razor for five days and it won't freeze it doesn't dry out we've had it set on board for a month and it was still moist okay I've had rain cover this stuff for two days and it's still I could still smell it on the stick all right enough is enough but this stuff is good we're gonna take it take a stick get a little on here we're gonna put it right down in here a little bit much I'm not stingy on my lure that's what's making me money okay I've always said it before that's what's making me money if it drips down sometimes I'll show you a little bit too I'll show you what I do um, you can take 
another stick like this and if you take it and wrap it on there a little bit and you put that down and it just touches in half in in the water you can't see it maybe but it's sitting out an oil slick like crazy and that what it will do it'll do that for days and the current will carry it right down along the edge awesome I'm working on a little thing for putting underneath the water too I'll talk to you about that later all right now we're at that first takeout where I'm going to do a half in half out now the water isn't deep enough okay I forgot my trowel but you know things will work and I just used my paddle to kind of cut that bottom up dig that mud out of there push it right out now while I'm in here I'm going to reach up and grab all this stuff right out of here I'm going to splash water up and I'm going to shine that puppy up okay it's going to stick right out when I get that shine it up make it look like it's being used huh okay now pull that out I got my trap already attached now if you notice I almost had an accident better get my safety on there pull some of that out now I'm actually this is the rivets would be dead center so I just gave myself a little bit lead way unless in case it drops a little and I already know it's not going to because it just got done raining a little bit we'll take some of that mud we're gonna throw it up on them top of them springs okay that I dug out of here look at that the springs just started to disappear hmm take that mud right up there take some more here right like that now then I can reach up and grab some of this litter and push down on there now some guys are saying well that don't make a lot of difference well maybe it don't but I like it I think it whenever in doubt always act like you got a smart animal I take my clay and then I rub it on my wire on this time don't take like to use wire but I got it on this one I've got a chew stick I've got it in there you can put a double if you want doesn't matter just like that okay I'm gonna take my safety off stick it in my pocket now let's dress this trap in a little bit got a little bit of green going in here um, grab, grab a little branch kind of you don't got to build a fence man you ought to see some of the cattle fence I've seen people make just a few little sticks will make all the difference in the world now let's reach in here grab this bamboo okay there's one thing too that sometimes makes a difference is if you take that clay and you can rub it right on that top okay rub it right on the top of that and blend them in now you notice I put the safety back on always put your safety back on when you do this you will catch yourself okay put that in there it blends it more in take our lure
put a daub up on there, put it in there like that. Done. That fast. Let's move. Here it is the next day at them dams that we just set up. We went through, checked them, the one with the dam in the hole, nothing. The two bank where they got out, didn't have anything there. Came to the main dam, that was the crossover. I'll take that any day. And we still got a few more traps to check. It's been a long day. Uh, sorry for the last five beavers we couldn't shoot. We ran out of light, uh, but we kept on going. Uh, we've got a bunch of artificial light outside right now, hoping that we can get this shot. Um, it usually doesn't take quite this long, but when you're shooting film, it, it takes a lot longer. But we had a good day. Um, there's a lot of traps you didn't see us check, okay? We showed you what we caught. A lot of people wanted to see what we were catching. All right, now this is what we're catching. This is a day's run. We got uh, 14 beavers, three otters, and a couple of raccoons laying down on the ground. So I got a lot of work yet to do, and an early day tomorrow. Catch you later. <laughs>